Rolling easy, back in the easy garage, back at ya. I'm rolling easy, Eric, that's Chewy back there, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. So, I got a bunch of boxes in, and I've opened most of them. They're all from different sellers, and I've opened them through the week. Uh, I'll show you what just came in the garage, but I, I didn't open this one. I thought I'd let you see it. <clears throat> few videos back, I got a, I think the last video was the three beach bombs or the, the one beach bomb, maybe one. So it put me at an uneven number. So I have 15 Redline beach bombs. They're all different variations, every one of them. So 15 different variations. And it was an uneven number. So I wanted to bring it up to 16. So I bought another beach bomb and it is definitely one I do not have and it is a rare, rare color. So I seen it when I bid on it, but um, we will check the condition together, but I will open this last. So if you're into red lines or vintage Hot Wheels or beach bombs or Volkswagens, you may want to stick around to the end of this video and we'll open this together. But in the meantime, let me show you some packages. These are all from different sellers. Uh, one, one seller, two sellers, three sellers, three different sellers right here. And then the beach bomb. So four. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what came into the easy garage. What is new? What is new? Okay, we'll start off with these. No, we'll leave those. Let's start off with some Matchbox. There's a Matchbox cattle truck. The super fast year. You can see it there. Now, this would go in my 1978 store display, which I have one. But I think this one is mintier. This is an uh, upgrade. It doesn't have any cattle in it, but I think mine does. But very clean. There's your base. You're super fast. Uh, 1978 model. It's a dark orange, almost an orange, orangey yellow. But I don't see any chips. It's clean. The roof is clean. So I'll have to pull mine out and see if that's an upgrade or what it is. So <clears throat> I also got a vintage cattle truck from the earlier, they're all Lesney, Lesney years, but this is an earlier one. Um, this is definitely an upgrade in my collection. I think mine's missing a door or not as clean. Here's your door, also no cattle. But it is a um, clean, old school matchbox. I'm, I'm really been upgrading these, uh, these older ones. I've been seeing them in auctions, getting good deals. So I've been buying them up. I'm sure this is an upgrade too. I think it's the, uh, <clears throat> I believe it's a pipe truck. I believe it has pipes that come on it but even in this condition it's definitely better than the one I have I'm sure older Lesney matchbox you can see it's it's really clean it's got you know it's got some chip chips but compared to mine that is another upgrade from an old school matchbox this one is also the Douglas, I believe that says Douglas. Um, this would go up. I don't know if they call it a dump truck, but it is a dumper. Don't believe the name, what they call it, but there she is in clean condition. I'm so excited to be finding some of these earlier Matchbox cars. To upgrade and add to my collection. 
And when I see them, I grab them. Now this one I needed for my 78 display. I was missing that number. I can't believe, I can't remember what number it was. I believe it's number 35, just offhand, but I'm not sure. But I did not have this in my display. The police boat, not sure the name of it, what they call it. It may say it on the bottom. Let me see. Police launch. Police launch. Okay. I guess it does have a name, but it's got its people in it. If you can see, they're, they're easy to be lost or pulled out. Uh, it's in fair condition. It doesn't have a chip on it. I mean, it's really totally gorgeous. The only flaw is the, uh, the tampos have a little age wear to them. But that will go in my 78 Matchbox display store display case. If you haven't seen that case, I have older videos. And once I fill in some more, um, we're getting close to filling the whole collection or the whole case. So once I do, I'll do another video on that <clears throat> show you every model. Up next, I've been chasing this car for a little while. It's really scarce. Uh, the Hong Kong version is the, it's very, very common in Hong Kong. I don't know why everyone chases the Hong Kongs. I find the Malaysia bases harder to find. But I've been looking for this with a Malaysia base. There it is there. And if you can read it, it doesn't even say Malaysia. It says Malaysian. Very, very unique on that. I don't know if they all came with that because this is the first Malaysia or Malaysian base of this uh, fire chief. So that puts me down to looking, I'm hunting for one more fire chief and that would go on the black wall wall and then I would complete all of the fire chiefs. Up next, I just had to grab this. If you don't know what this is, it's made by Mattel, but it's called, um, it's not Hot Wheels, but they call them First Wheels. And you can see the scale, much, much larger. Um, this is for smaller kids, so it doesn't have a lot of parts, anything they can swallow and, you know, anything like that. But these are pretty cool. I grab them when I see them. I have a few of them, but I didn't have this dump truck. It also has, look at that, a, like a Zamic. The whole bed is Zamic. But uh, I grab them. Want to see them do a little collection of just the uh, first first wheels? I think they're called, but I thought it was neat. I just grabbed it just because I have more of them. Okay, I think that was one seller. That might have been one or two, but this next seller, these are called Zowies. It's a red line era Zowies, I believe, nineteen seventy. 273 maybe maybe around 73 um this one is the uh oh what is it night night something oh i should have had my notes but anyway <clears throat> i already have this there are different um variations on these also they have a hitch. Some of them come with a hitch and some of them do not. And then they'll have different little distinct little variation. One would be the retail market and the other would be a promotion where they gave them away at the gas station. But uh, I can't remember if the hit, I can't remember if this was the retail or the promotion. So. But both of these have hitches, and I do have them both. Thought I was going to upgrade one, but, oh, I did upgrade this one. This is mine out of my collection. I've already, because I already opened this, I already upgraded it. 
So this is um, mine that was in my collection. But see, it has the trailer hitch. And they call this one the Diablo. I did know that one. But um, yeah, I think the other one doesn't have a hitch and it's got shorter horns. And I can't remember which one's retail or can't remember at the time. I should have I should have made notes to let you guys know. But when I do a full video on the Zowies, you will you will understand what they are. Up next. Oh, what is this? A vintage made in Japan Tamika. Totally mint blister pull hauler. And it's, I don't even know how this comes off. I don't even know if that comes off. Maybe it doesn't come off. But there it is. That's vintage Tomika. Not like this stuff you've seen uh, from the last four years in Walmart. There it is. I love the Tomikas. They're made in Japan. And I, I grab them when I see them, when I can afford them. Some of them are pricey, but the hauler, you know, being a hauler, I had to have it. Uh, maybe this piece stays on there. That's why it didn't get lost. But if it's a hauler, sometimes you lose this or you don't have the cab and then you got to hunt it down. So there's one piece, Tomika hauler. Up next, now you're going to love this. If you're into play art, uh, play art cars. They're, they're very hard to come by, very expensive lately. And this is an early play art. And how you can tell is the, um, the wheels, they're like a, like a cap. You could almost get a, a knife in there and pull that off like a hubcap. And you could snap it back into. But um, this is an early play art. Um, and Sears, they were known as, what was that case I just got? Let me see. Roadmates. That Roadmates case was um, actually play art, but Roadmates was the name for the exact same cars sold at Sears. Back then it was Sears, Sears and Roebuck. But here's your play art. Here's your base. And these play art cars are starting to come become very hard to come by and very expensive but i like these early ones with the hubcaps they were definitely 1970s those were the ones that i played with so there's that one and if you think those hubcaps and play art cars are rare you probably seen hot wheels has blown the market out of proportion but the corgi batmobile but this one here is a play art Batmobile. Definitely 1970s. There's your play art base. Extremely hard to come by car. Got your pop off hubcap wheels. And um, if you're into Batman or Batmobiles, there is a piece for you. Check that thing out. It has the little guys in there. And they can come out. They can fall out. But they are still in there. The steering wheel is still in there. That is a gem. That's a gem. I'm not much of a Batman fan. I like the Corgi. Hot Wheels just blew the market out. I'm tired of the Hot Wheels Batmobiles, but um, this one here, if you don't have a Play Art Batmobile in your collection, you need to start hunting it down, because that, that is something. Up next, finally, the Beach Bomb, because I can't wait. I can't wait to put it with my other Beach Bombs. Here's, here's my little Beach Bomb display. I keep them a little bit. Hope I don't want to lift it because I'll shuffle them. But um, there's the 15 
all the buttons, original sticker. I got a base, original base off one, original interior. Looking for an original glass and a body maybe to go with that. Just a little something in the case. But let's see what color, let's see what color I didn't get. And I'll add it to this. And I need to get this case out of this room because I don't keep my red lines out here. But I keep staring at it and keep buying beach bombs. So let's keep it at an even 16 right now after I open this for a little while. Need to focus on some other red lines. Maybe I should have opened it from the other side. Don't know what the guy sent me with it. All right. Uh, let's see. We got some junky paper that he probably wanted to get out of his house. This and bubble wrap. That's it. And there it is. There is your original beach bomb. Okay, guys. Well, <clears throat> thanks for watching, subscribing. I'm kidding. No, we're going to open this. Let's check it out. I'll keep you in suspense. Keep you waiting. I can't wait to see the condition. I know it has a, a little crack on the top glass, but the color is what makes this very extremely rare color on this one. And there it is. Some will call it brown. It's more of a copper. So in the books, there's a dark brown and a light brown. But there she is. This side looks the best. And it has um, original boards. I know that. And a slight, you know, some of these get cracks on the glass. It has a slight crack. But for the money, if it didn't have the crack, I probably could not afford this car. It has both, both uh, exhaust tips that are not broken. Your base is in fairly shiny condition, I would say. Oh, this thing is nice. If I could the wheels spin beautiful, uh, maybe upgrade these wheels on this side and upgrade this board here. Looks like someone chewed, like the kid chewed on it. But I'm very happy with that purchase. Your copper light brown i don't know i'm gonna call it light brown i don't know if there is a copper but um there she is gonna add that to the collection number 16 and the beach bombs look at the back so clean too i don't see well there's chip little rubs on the edge there but very clean all right so i'm happy with that purchase that's my beach bomb all right thank you guys for watching subscribing and check me out on my instagram rolling underscore easy uh, i think there's a couple more days in my hood contest um, you can go to finish master they have a website if you can find it i don't have it on hand but uh, you can vote on my hood. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check that one out. And thanks for watching. If there's something you guys want to see, I, I, there's so many videos I want to make. I just don't have the time. But we'll get into that. But thanks for watching. Subscribe. And don't forget, stay easy. Keep on turning them hot wheels.